just when you think that things can't get any more dangerous, they do. I'm Kyle Peck, and this is Cyrex Productions. If you like my film reviews and videos, please like and subscribe to Cyrex Productions, or you can follow me at facebook.com slash Cyrex Productions. In addition, I will be involved in my next theatrical production called Othello by William Shakespeare at Big Idea Theater in Sacramento, California, located on 1616 Del Paso Boulevard from September 28th to October 27th. The core of this play revolves around Othello, a black man or more, who rose through the ranks of general and celebrates the defeat of the Turks on the island of Cyprus. Little did he know that his most trusted lieutenant, Iago, would plant seeds containing lies that spirals events into chaos. Tickets range from $12 to $18 in advance or $12 to $22 at the door, and most shows are on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, all of which start at 8 p.m. For more information, go to www.bigideatheater.org. Cruz is back for the sixth time as Ethan Hunt, marking his 22nd year as the titled character. But whether you love him or hate him, Cruz has done many devastatingly life-threatening stunts for our entertainment over the course of his acting career. But are all of these stunts all that he is now? Or should we choose to accept that his sixth mission really takes things up a notch? Here's my review of the cruise-centric, death-defying thriller, Mission Impossible Fallout. There will be spoilers within this review, so if you're really willing to dive in, it's your funeral. Mission Impossible Fallout is the sixth action spy adventure of its film series. Produced by Skydance Media and Bad Robot Productions, helmed once again by writer and director Christopher McQuarrie after Rogue Nation, and once again starring actor Tom Cruise as Impossible Mission Force or IMF agent Ethan Hunt, where he failed a mission in acquiring three plutonium cores on the black market from returning villain Sean Harris as Solomon Lane and the newly reformed Apostles terrorist group, by saving longtime friend Ving Rhames as Luther Stickle. This propels events when actress Angela Bassett as the new ruthless CIA director Erica Sloan, who replaces the position from Alec Baldwin's return as the all-knowing and new IMF secretary Alan Hunley, instructs Henry Cavill's CIA black ops assassin August Walker to assist in Hunt's retrieval of the plutonium in a race against time from Lane's doomsday plot. Tom Cruise is clearly the man of the hour in hungrily doing the impossible, from fearlessly willing to dedicate all of his bones and acting chops to evolve Hunt, to learning how to actually fly a helicopter in real time. The film is also the most direct and self-aware of sequels, clinging on to the many classic callbacks from its predecessors over the years, including Rogue Nation's Rebecca Ferguson as former MI6 agent Ilsa Faust, who proves to be the best match for Hunt and female character in the franchise, and even Michelle Monaghan returning as Ethan's estranged wife, Julia Mead. In terms of antagonists, Sean Harris carries over his deviously bland, one-dimensional motivation to screw with Hunt. Henry Cavill is a stiff but way more menacing physical threat that relishes in playing the triple agent working for Lane. The highlighted yet underrated stuntman and actor Liang Yang as the John Lark decoy is the shining underdog, and Vanessa Kirby as the reckless but elegant black arms dealer Alana Mistopoulos slash White Widow is the most surprising scene stealer, and her femme fatale and film noir appearance presents another great female character. As for Hunt's team, Ving Rhames does an admirable job as the longtime sassy and sensitive best friend Luther. Simon Pegg continues to be thrilling as the tech whiz Benji Dunn, and Alec Baldwin briefly gets Alan's hands dirty in Hunt's universe, especially during his last breaths, but the film doesn't give off as much of their humor in comparison to previous installments, even when they are paired in different scenes. In addition, many of the character-driven plots, wacky betrayals, and doomsday banter in Fallout leading up to its extremely long finale is as convoluted and dragged out as the rest of its series, but sheer adrenaline in its action scenes and music proved to be sustainable with plenty of punch. However, there is a matter of willing suspension of disbelief for those who are all familiar to the stunts that have been pulled off in this franchise, which could make current perceptions of the visceral bathroom brawl, the halo jump, motorcycle chase, and the helicopter battle not as breathtaking. Yet one can't help but appreciate the film's production and writer-slash-director Christopher McQuarrie really working hard to double down on trying to break new ground. In conclusion, Mission Impossible Fallout brings one of the best action films of this year, displayed by the consistent talent and crew in the idea that the impossible can be dared and overcome triumphantly, even if the high adrenaline stakes are viewed as the most familiar entry in the franchise. I give Mission Impossible Fallout 7.5 out of 10 stars. I'm Kyle Peck, and try not to die before doing anything crazy. Yeah, 